This episode is brought to you by Klaviyo, the platform that powers smarter digital relationships. With Klaviyo, you can activate all your customer data in real time, connect seamlessly with your customers across all channels, guide your marketing strategy with AI-powered insights, recommendations, and automated assistance, deliver experiences that feel individually designed at scale, and grow your business faster. Power smarter digital relationships with Klaviyo. Learn more at klaviyo.com slash Spotify. That's K-L-A-V-I-Y-O dot com slash Spotify. Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. When you think of the biggest streaming services in the world, you likely think of Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime Video. Those are major players, of course, but actually none of them are the biggest video streaming platform. No, technically speaking, that title goes to YouTube. For example, the July 2023 Nielsen report showed that Netflix accounted for 8.5% of all TV usage during the month, while YouTube accounted for 9.2% of all TV usage. That's just under half of the 20% figure that broadcast TV accounted for in the month, but YouTube seems to be getting more popular. YouTube has several advantages over the other streamers, but the main one is that its content is user-generated. Similar to TikTok, this means YouTube's content library is constantly booming. Even during the Writers Guild and Actors Guild strikes, YouTubers kept uploading new videos. Additionally, YouTube content is free and ad-supported, and it's reliably up-to-date. While scripted shows like Squid Game or Stranger Things can take months or years to put out new episodes, YouTubers can reliably crank out two or three new videos weekly if they want to. Even more production-heavy YouTubers, like Mr. Beast, can put out multiple videos per month, every month, year-round. That's something scripted TV simply doesn't do. And this streamer divide is generational. Just anecdotally speaking, the teenagers and preteens I know in my life are much more likely to fire up the YouTube app and find Savannah Bananas mashup videos than they are to open up Hulu or even Disney+. For Hollywood, this presents something of an existential crisis. How do they capture that younger audience that's used to more frequent, shorter videos with their longer shows and movies that take years to complete? Some may argue the Hollywood system and the YouTuber economy are playing different games, and they would be right. But at the end of the day, more minutes are being spent watching YouTube than any of those splashy streaming services. And the trend of watching user-generated videos from apps like TikTok and YouTube is only growing. For months now, box office returns have shown that the cultural hold of superhero movies is waning. So the question must be asked, are YouTube channels like Mr. Beast and Good Mythical Morning a big part of the reason why? To me, it seems likely. I'm Evan Rook. When you save on auto insurance for driving safe with USAA SafePilot, you'll feel like a big deal even in a traffic jam. Save up to 30% with USAA SafePilot. Restrictions apply. 